look at that sun. Golden hour, darling. Golden hour, what? Absolutely golden hour. Let's turn that off. <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. So, is, can you see out that windscreen, darling? Bits. Bits and bobs. That's so dirty. Bits and bobs ass. Gordon Bennett. There you go. Look at that. Thank you. Give, that. It a, give it a wash. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, hello. Welcome back to another vlog, like I just said. Um, it is Friday today. I've actually just ended the last vlog earlier, and now I'm starting this vlog. But we are off to collect some logs. Did you ever think you'd be excited to go and collect logs? It's a bit of wood. We're off to a collect. Bit of wood. We're off to collect logs, and I am buzzing. Love a log, don't we? So excited. Love a log. Birch log. Woo! -hoo! Woo! Kiln dry. Oh! Woo! <laughs> But the log burn is coming on Monday, and what is a log burner without logs? It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's, it's pointless. Paperweight. So, yeah, we are off to get the logs. Wait, why would you not? Oh, no. Uh, Thank so you. It's kicking out time, Ash. It's school time. It's kicking out time. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, what are we doing here? It's all kicking. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're off to go and get the logs. So I just thought I'd start another vlog here. Why not? I told you I need to set up early. Oh, they're going to be fuming at me. They're raging. Absolutely, Absolutely raging, darling. You're oh, right. Yes. Look at you so forward in your seat. You're ready, aren't you? I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you. But yeah, we are off anyway, and I just thought I'd start the vlog here and say hello and welcome you back to another weekly vlog because we're gonna um, see some big changes this week, which I'm so excited for. We are literally we're getting the log burner. Hopefully, Marky will finish the dining table. We'll get those legs done, but otherwise. We're excited. I cannot wait for you to see the log burner. It's gonna look so good. We have got a little bit of catching up to do. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a hectic weekend. So I started the vlog on Friday when we were off to pick up our logs, absolutely buzzing. And then Saturday, we didn't get up to a lot because it's Mark's birthday next week. So we went around to his family's and had a nice meal and stayed over there for the night while we had some drinks and things like that. And then Sunday, me and Mark went for a really nice walk, a really, really lovely walk, which turned into going to the bakery, which was really cute. Picked up a nice little treat, had that, came home, and then decided that we would do a little walk to the pub as well. And that just literally got so, so far out of hand. It just went completely west and we, yeah, we had, way too much to drink and that just meant that monday was a complete and utter write-off so the whole weekend was a little bit hectic didn't get any work done didn't get the table legs done that we wanted to get done but the exciting thing is is that on monday whilst we were crying our eyes out being hung over there were people downstairs installing our log burner which is behind me and well behind you and i'm so excited to show you oh, i cannot wait to show you but just before i do i've had a super duper exciting parcel from the people at udi now i'm so so, 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 so excited to show you this. And I'm so excited to try it on and do a little review because, oh my God, this is so cool. They very, very kindly sent it to me. And if you've watched my videos before, you will know that I'm literally all about just cozy style, cozy sort of fashion, anything, just track suits, leggings and a top, sweatshirts and a top. So as soon as they reached out to me, I was like, yes. Yes, please, because we know this is up our street, like, massively. I got the Friends version, which I'm so, so, so excited about. Oh, my goodness, I can't get into it. I love how it comes in a little ribbon as well, like, it's all gift wrap. It's so cute. Oh, here we go. That is 
soft. <gasps> oh my goodness, that is so fluffy. Look at the fluff on that. <gasps> that is so snuggly. Oh my goodness. Look at her behind me. I know that she's going to want to steal this, but this that is just not happening. Oh my goodness, it's so big. It is huge. <laughs> oh my God, I'm in love. This is insane. So I got the Friends one. As you can see, it says Central Park on it because I know sometimes it can be a bit of an unpopular opinion, but I absolutely, oh God, itchy nose. I absolutely love Friends so, so, so much. Like... My auntie introduced me to friends and then me and my cousin just used to watch it constantly. So friends just reminds me of her so, so, so much and all of our beautiful memories watching it together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the warmest thing I have ever put on my body. Wow. Look how far down it comes. It's literally down past my knees and it has got this giant pocket in it. And you know that we love a pocket. We love a pocket for the snacks. You could fit your whole three meals of the day in this pocket. There is so much room. Oh my goodness. This is so soft. Oh my goodness, Mark is gonna be so jealous. Well, you're never going to see me out of this. This is me now. This is me in my central perk hoodie. Oh my goodness. Sorry, the doorbell just went, but oh my goodness. I'm literally as snug as a bug in a rug in this thing. This is going to be me now. I'm never going to wear anything else. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention as well that the absolutely beautiful team have also given me a, wow, well, look at my hair now, <laughs> have given me a £30 off code for you too, which is super duper exciting. And yeah, you can get £30 off using the code. I'll put it on the screen and I'll also leave a link in the description box as well that you can follow to pick yourself up an Udi too. But oh my goodness. Happy literally isn't even the word right now. I am so, so, so happy. But yeah, I'm going to show you the uh, vlog burner now, which is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Let me just turn you around. Ah, I cannot deal. So remember that big, ugly cardboard box? Look at this now. How stunning is this? And I just wanted to show you it before it gets dark outside as well, because I'm definitely going to light it up later and I'll show you what it looks like when the fire's on. But wow, I cannot get over. Obviously, we're not keeping this carpet, so we didn't care about all the dirt and everything. But yeah, let me just give you a nice big close up. So this is the half that we chose as well. So the stone bit at the bottom is called the half. And I asked them if we could actually have it cut this way. Because I think it just makes it look a lot more natural with having like the cement line down the middle. Because normally where you can see it at the back, this is normally one massive strip. And then there's just a little bit at the back. But I was just slightly worried that it was going to look like they didn't have enough brick and they had to just not brick, but like these slabs and have to sort of like put a little strip in at the back. So I just asked them if they could do me a cut down the middle as well, just to make it look more natural, I guess, really. And then, yeah, these are some of the logs that we picked up the other day. And these are also brick slips as well. So we, you get to choose these and you can actually go back to the store as well and pick like a different shade as well. I think they had a sort of like more of a yellowy version too, but I just wanted the more natural looking one. So this came as like a gigantic board and then they cut it down outside to fit the gap. And they very, very kindly as well, plastered all around the outside just to make good of the job too. And this is just fireboard in here. It's basically just a fire safe plasterboard that goes in there. And it just means that we can paint that too, the same color as the wall. But oh my goodness, I am in love. I cannot deal with it. And this log burner is just so so beautiful like the fire that comes up we had one on monday night as soon as they left and that's why you can see all sort of like the leftover ash in the bottom of it but it was just 
Oh, it's so nice. It's so, so, so great. It looks amazing. And I can't wait to just get this whole room painted and finished now. It's going to look so, so good. I'm so happy with it. So we went with a company called Yorkshire Stoves. And I didn't want to mention them before because I wanted to wait until all the work and everything was done because I didn't want to like recommend them and then them not be anything sort of like worth going to but yeah so we went with yorkshire stoves and i couldn't recommend them enough at all literally from the beginning part from talking we spoke with a guy called matthew in the storeroom and he was absolutely amazing he was so lovely he spoke us through everything because i had 101 different questions that i wanted answering because i just didn't understand how it all worked um with like the new flu and if they were going to do the plastering and getting that all making it like look nice for us the fireboard i didn't know if you can paint on that fireboard which you can you can put from paint straight on that paint on that straight away he was fantastic and then it was like a two week wait but because they're so busy they have so many teams in which is sort of like was a good thing for me because i didn't want i wanted sort of like a company that i could trust and rely on because they had so much work coming in i was like obviously they're really really good so yeah i'm so happy we went with them they're incredible but yeah i couldn't recommend them enough they've done an absolutely fantastic job so yeah i'll show you it later as well when it's all up and running and all completely like burning because that'll be good for you to see and now we just need to get the pipes chased in and then we can start and get this living room all decorated get a new flooring down get the new skirting boards on get the paint on i think i'm gonna go and pick up a couple of testers i think i might go for skimming stone in here but i'm just a bit worried that it's going to be a bit too dark so i don't know whether to go for more i think it's called schoolhouse white I'm gonna look though, I'm gonna go and get a couple of testers because they're Farrow and Ball colours, but I'm gonna get them mixed up in Valspar because the Valspar paint, I've got something in my eye that's absolutely bugging me. The Valspar, Valspar, how do you say it? Val, Valspar paint is really, really good and has worked really well with the panelling. But yeah, I just absolutely love it so so much and yeah i can't wait to show it later when it is all when the fire is going <laughs> very chilled just majority sit down kind of chatty video hasn't it but it's been super duper exciting because we've got the log burner and that was amazing but i just thought i'd round up this video by doing a little mini audi haul because i went into audi and i was so so shocked like i know that they do really good like special buys and that sometimes but i'm always like i go to lidl but literally Lidl has got nothing on Aldi because these dupes that I've picked up are insane. So I thought I'd just share them with you and hopefully then sort of like still in while this video goes up. So I only got these bits like a couple of days ago and it's now Friday. So they should still be in there, I hope. But yeah, these are the bits that I picked up anyway. So first of all, mm, I'll start off with this one because this is literally my favourite. I got this vanilla honey. What do they actually call it? bath nectar and oh my goodness i don't know how like these companies get away with it this is the biggest dupe of the laura mercier bath i don't know if laura mercier call it bath nectar as well but oh my goodness it's got the little tub oh we've got a hair on it we've got a little tub and also even the little honey thing that you like scoop into the bath as well i really don't know how they get away with it it's mad but oh it literally smells, I mean, I know this sounds silly to say, it smells of like pure honey, but it smells. Like I can't wait to have a bath with this and just cover myself in this. I don't want to tip it up because I don't want it all to fall out, but it is like stunning. It smells so, so, so good. And I can't believe it comes with the little honey thing as well. I just find it, find it madness how they can do this. And this is even like, I say worse, but it's amazing. Look at this. 
how mad is this joe malone dupe or what so it's the lime and basil and mandarin perfume and it's just like i don't know how they do it because obviously the scent is exactly the same for joe malone even the bottle like look at that bottle it's exactly the same as the joe malone one i mean obviously it's not exactly the same but it is very very similar and it smells so nice as well it smells so 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 good i actually really love it now i tested this out the other day it's obviously not as like long lasting but it is a fraction of the price so the joe malone one they normally retail at sort of like 100 pounds was it 108 pounds or 102 pounds i saw the other day i think it might have been 108 and this was 5.99 or 6.99 i can't remember so it's literally the tiniest fraction of the price and uh it's just yeah so i'm really glad i picked one of those up i really wanted the tonga scent but i couldn't find it so they'd all run out um and i also picked up this as well again such a dupe for the white company seychelles sandal sandals <laughs> candles look at that it's even got all of the little shells in it there's a little little star up there as well but i can't believe that and it's exactly the same that i don't know how to say this bergamot bergamot Ber bergamot i think that's how you say it amber and vanilla my white company candles downstairs but they smell very very similar which is just mad i'd literally again i just don't know how they do it but this smells so so nice and i think so the white company ones are 28 pounds and this was again either 5.99 or 6.99 i can't remember which way around it was but i can't believe it it's literally a fraction of the cost and i won't actually mind like actually lighting that either because i don't like lighting my white company one that just stays as it is but yeah really happy with that and then last of all i picked up how cute are these because i've got some of these already but they're like more sort of like thin ones these are a nice big fat sort of like get your hands around it kind of mug and yeah they're not actually as deep as what I, as what i thought they were you can kind of see the double lining there but yeah i thought i picked these up as well because they're super cute so i've got you get a packet of two this is what they look like in case you look for it in the shop but these were 7 .99. and yeah you get a little pack of two double wall glass retains heat to keep your cappuccino hot for longer i won't be having cappuccino in it i'll just be still having cold coffee in it but i thought these were super duper cute as well so yeah those are the bits that i picked up from aldi but aldi home stuff really really chuffed i can't wait to put this oh who's this hello my darling hello gorgeous hello my girly tail oh bless you. Oh, what does it matter? Has mommy sprayed that stinky perfume? Oh, I know. I'm sorry, darling. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realise you were coming upstairs. Nunu has such like a sensitive nose and it makes her sneeze all the time. I'm so sorry, darling. I wouldn't have sprayed it if I knew you were coming up the stairs. It's quite strong, isn't it? But yeah. So that is absolutely everything that I picked up and I just thought I'd show you those last little bits to round up this very short, sweet, not a lot happening sort of vlog. But we're just kind of, oh, that's really got up your nose, darling, hasn't it? I'm so sorry. Let me open a window, get it out quickly. But yeah, we're kind of just waiting on getting in a plaster around at the minute. And then as soon as the plaster is round, we can then crack on with getting the bedroom done. We can crack on with finishing the living room, which will be super duper exciting now that the log burner's in. I think in the next vlog, we'll go to B&Q and get a couple of, um, what's it called? Paint pot tester things. So we can test out a couple. I've seen a few that I like, but because I'm going to be in the living room a lot, I just want to make sure that it is 100% the colour that I want. So maybe in the next vlog, we'll go to B&Q and get some paint samples. How, how exciting for you guys. Oh my God. I just realised how boring that sounds as soon as I said it. But yeah, I'll wrap up this vlog here anyway. I'm sorry a lot didn't happen, but it's just, again, super amazing memories just to see the progress of it all coming along anyway. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.